Coming up next on Passion Struck, in the tapestry of our lives, trust weaves the threads that bind us together, creating a vibrant mosaic of flourishing relationships. Trust is not merely an abstract concept, but a living, breathing force that requires nurturing and commitment. By embracing the journey of cultivating trust, we embark on a transformative path where vulnerability becomes our armor, empathy, our compass, and collaboration, our guiding light. Welcome to Passion Struck. Hi, I'm your host, John R. Miles, and on the show, we decipher the secrets, tips, and guidance of the world's most inspiring people and turn their wisdom into practical advice for you and those around you. Our mission is to help you unlock the power of intentionality so that you can become the best version of yourself. If you're new to the show, I offer advice and answer listener questions on Fridays. We have long form interviews the rest of the week with guests ranging from astronauts to authors, CEOs, creators, innovators, scientists, military leaders, visionaries, and athletes. Now, let's go out there and become passion struck. Trust is not merely a thread that weaves through the fabric of relationships. It is the sturdy foundation upon which they stand. Without trust, even the most seemingly invincible bonds can crumble under the weight of doubt and insecurity. Whether we're talking about personal connections or the professional relationships that shape our careers, trust is an indispensable ingredient that allows us to communicate effectively, work together harmoniously, and forge unbreakable alliances. However, trust is not a magical potion that materializes realizes overnight. It requires time, dedication, and a genuine commitment to nurturing its growth. But fear not, for in this vast landscape of human connection, there are trust-building exercises that can act as beacons of hope, illuminating the path towards more stronger and meaningful relationships. In today's episode, we'll embark on an exhilarating exploration of four powerful trust-building exercises that hold the potential to strengthen your relationships. We'll delve into the science and psychology behind trust, the benefits of building trust, and how these trust-building exercises can help you incorporate trust into your relationships. Join us as we uncover the numerous benefits that sprout from the fertile soil of trust. From heightened levels of mutual understanding and empathy to increased collaboration and productivity, trust has the power to transform ordinary connections into extraordinary bonds that can withstand the test of time. By the end of this episode, you'll possess the keys to building unbreakable trust. Get ready to revolutionize your relationships and embrace the power of trust like never before. Before we outline the trust building exercises, let us take a moment to delve deeper into the essence of trust itself. Understanding the intricacies of trust and its multifaceted nature is crucial to truly grasping the power and the significance of these exercises. Trust is far from an abstract concept. It is a complex interplay of psychological and social phenomena that intricately shape our relationships. At its core, trust revolves around the profound belief that another person will act in our best interests, refraining from exploiting our vulnerabilities. It is the deep-seated confidence we place in someone, recognizing their reliability, competence, and unwavering honesty. When trust blossoms, we find ourselves at ease, embracing vulnerability, sharing our innermost thoughts, and relying on the unwavering support of trusted companions. The foundation of trust lies within the realm of social cognition, a fascinating process through which we process and comprehend social information. As we engage with others, our minds deftly assess an array of cues to determine the trustworthiness of those around us. These cues manifest in various forms, encompassing body language, facial expressions, tone of voice, and even our past experiences. After forming our initial impression of someone, we commonly fall into the trap of confirmation bias. This bias causes us to actively seek out information that aligns with our existing beliefs about that person while dismissing or ignoring any evidence that contradicts our perception. For instance, if we perceive someone as trustworthy, Trustworthy. We tend to focus on gaining information that supports this belief and disregard any information that challenges it. By understanding these underlying mechanisms of trust, we equip ourselves with the tools to navigate the labyrinth of human connections. With this knowledge in our grasp, we can now explore the myriad of benefits that arise from building trust in our relationships. Building trust in your relationships is a transformative endeavor, yielding numerous benefits for both you and the other person involved. Here are just a few of the many benefits of building trust. First, it improves communication. When you trust someone wholeheartedly, you are more likely 
communicate openly and honestly with them. This level of transparency paves the way for better understanding, minimizing the potential for misunderstandings and fostering a deeper connection. Second, it increases collaboration. Trust is the lifeblood of effective cooperation. When trust permeates a relationship, individuals are more inclined to work seamlessly, harnessing their collective strengths and striving towards shared goals with unwavering dedication. Third, it creates greater empathy. Trust and empathy are intricately intertwined. When trust is present, we are more likely to emphasize with others, understanding and sharing their feelings. This empathy enhances our connections and deepens our bonds. Fourth, it creates heightened job satisfaction. Trust is an indispensable element of the workplace. When you trust your colleagues and managers, you experience greater job satisfaction. This foundation of trust nurtures an environment where individuals feel valued, supported, and motivated to perform at their best. It also provides enhanced mental health. Trust plays a pivotal role in our mental well-being. Cultivating trusting relationships provides a solid support system, reducing stress levels, fostering resilience, and contributing to our overall mental wellness. So now, equipped with the enlightening science behind trust and a deeper understanding of its remarkable benefits, let us explore four trust-building exercises. Through these exercises, we have the ability to nurture trust within our relationships, fostering bonds grounded in authenticity, mutual respect, and unwavering faith. As we engage in these transformative practices, we plant the seeds of connection, allowing our relationships to flourish and grow with trust as their guiding force. The first exercise is to share vulnerabilities, which are a bold step towards trust. In the realm of trust building, sharing vulnerabilities stands as a powerful catalyst to deepen connections. This exercise requires us to courageously sit down with someone and take turns sharing our inner struggles fears, and personal challenges. By bearing our vulnerabilities, we exhibit a profound level of trust, honesty, and openness. Here are some tips for practicing vulnerability. The first is to acknowledge your feelings. Recognize and accept your own emotions before trying to understand those of others. Second, show genuine interest. Ask open-ended questions to show interest in others' experiences. Third, maintain open body language. Nonverbal cues such as eye contact or nodding show that you're actively listening. Listen patiently. Letting the other person speak without interruption shows respect for their viewpoint and avoid judgmental responses. Responding non-judgmentally encourages open communication and fosters an environment where individuals feel comfortable sharing personal thoughts and concerns. The act of sharing vulnerabilities finds its roots in prominent psychological theories, notably the social penetration theory and the principle of reciprocity. These theories shed light on the dynamics of self-disclosure and the reciprocal nature of trust building within relationships. According to the social penetration theory, initial interactions between individuals tend to involve exchanging shallow and non-intimate information. However, as the relationship progresses and trust is formed, individuals become gradually more comfortable revealing deeper aspects of their lives, thoughts, and emotions. This gradual and orderly movement from superficial to intimate levels of self-disclosure plays a pivotal role in deepening the connection between individuals. Moreover, the principle of reciprocity, a fundamental law of social psychology, plays a significant role in trust building through self-disclosure. By inviting others to reciprocate in sharing of personal information, a mutual exchange of trust and intimacy is formed. The principle of reciprocity recognizes that in relationships, the act of giving and receiving support in a mutually beneficial manner strengthens the bonds between individuals. It sets into motion a positive cycle where each person feels valued, understood, and supported, leading to a deeper level of trust. By drawing upon these psychological theories, we understand the significance of sharing vulnerabilities and building trust. As individuals gradually open up and disclose more personal information, they contribute to developing a more secure and intimate relationship. The principle of reciprocity amplifies this process by promoting a reciprocal exchange of trust, support, and understanding, further solidifying the foundation of the relationship. Research indicates that sharing vulnerabilities promotes empathy, understanding, and a sense of shared experiences. It fosters a safe and supportive environment where individuals feel comfortable expressing their authentic selves. This exercise nurtures trust by demonstrating our willingness to be vulnerable in creating an atmosphere of acceptance and non-judgment. The next exercise that we're going to go into is to practice active listening. Engaging and active listening is a powerful tool to amplify trust and foster meaningful connection. At its core, active listening entails more than just hearing. It involves wholeheartedly immersing ourselves in the speaker's words and genuinely comprehending their message. 
This exercise originates from established communications theories, such as empathetic listening and nonverbal communication. Empathetic listening, also known as active listening or reflective listening, enables a profound understanding of trust to flourish. Empathetic listening cultivates a deeper connection by actively seeking to understand and share the speaker's emotions. Additionally, nonverbal communication plays a crucial role, including maintaining eye contact, nodding, and adopting open body language, all of which signal attentiveness and genuine interest. These nonverbal cues contribute to the establishment of trust within the conversation. By practicing active listening, trust is heightened by creating an environment where individuals feel heard, valued, and truly understood. Effective communication is facilitated, leading to a reduction in misunderstandings and the development of strong rapport. Demonstrating genuine engagement and empathy conveys the utmost respect for the thoughts and emotions of the speaker, thereby strengthening and nurturing the foundation of trust in the relationship itself. Scientific studies validate the transformative impact of active listening on relationships. Couples who actively practice this skill report higher levels of relationship satisfaction and intimacy. The exercise strengthens trust by reinforcing the belief that the other person's thoughts and feelings are respected and acknowledged. The third exercise that we're going to delve into is cultivating empathy, which is a powerful force that drives understanding and connection. By genuinely stepping into another person's shoes and seeking to understand their experience, experiences and emotions, we lay the foundation for trust to flourish. One exercise that encompasses these principles involves taking turns sharing personal stories and experiences that have shaped our lives. To engage in this exercise, set aside dedicated time to have an open and honest conversation. Each person takes turns sharing a personal story or experience, opening up about their fears, struggles, or significant moments in their lives. The key is to create a safe and non-judgmental space where individuals can be vulnerable without fear of criticism or rejection. As the stories are shared, the other person actively listens, seeking to understand and empathize with the conveyed emotions and experiences. Psychological theories like emotional intelligence and the social support theory provide insights into the mechanisms that are at play with this exercise. Emotional intelligence allows us to recognize and regulate our own emotions, fostering self-awareness and empathy towards others. By being emotionally attuned, we can better understand the impact of our actions and words of those around us. Social support theory emphasizes the importance of receiving support from others. When we provide a supportive environment or empathy, we contribute to the well-being and satisfaction of our relationships. Engaging in empathy fosters trust through mutual understanding, validating emotions, and nurturing a sense of belonging. As we connect with others on a deeper level, we signal our willingness to listen, support, and empathize with their experiences. Empathy creates an environment where vulnerability is embraced and trust can thrive. Scientific research consistently confirms the transformative effects of empathy on relationships. Studies have shown that couples actively practicing empathy report higher levels of relationship satisfaction, increased feelings of closeness, and a strengthened sense of connection. By placing empathy at the forefront of our interactions, we unlock the transformative power of trust as we seek to understand, validate, and connect with others at an emotional level. We build bonds that are resilient, authentic, and are built on a foundation of empathy. Let us embark on this journey of empathy and trust, nurturing relationships that inspire, support, and uplift one another. And the fourth trust-building exercise that we're going to get into is to express gratitude, which is a simple gesture and a powerful tool for building trust and fortifying relationships. When we express gratitude, we convey our appreciation and value for the other person, acknowledging their positive contributions to our lives. To engage in this exercise, dedicate time daily to reflect upon and express gratitude towards the other person. It could be as simple as verbally thanking them for their support, acknowledging their efforts, or expressing gratitude for their presence in your life. The key is to be sincere and specific in your expressions of gratitude, highlighting the specific qualities and actions that you appreciate. By regularly practicing gratitude, you cultivate a positive and trusting environment within your relationship. This exercise serves as a reminder of the positive aspects of your connection, fostering a sense of appreciation and admiration for one another. It enhances the bonds between individuals by reinforcing the belief that our efforts and presence are valued and cherished. This exercise aligns with the broaden and build theory of positive emotions and the concept of emotional bank accounts. The broaden and build theory suggests that 
positive emotions broaden our perspective and thinking, enabling us to build enduring personal resources such as trust, resilience, and social connections. The concept of emotional bank accounts, popularized by Stephen Covey, proposes that we make emotional deposits into our relationships through positive interactions and expressions of gratitude, contributing to a surplus of trust and goodwill. Psychological research consistently demonstrates the profound impact of gratitude on relationships. Studies have shown that couples who regularly express gratitude report higher levels of relationship satisfaction, increased feelings of closeness, and a deeper sense of connection. Gratitude not only enhances the emotional well-being of individuals, but it also strengthens the very fabric of the relationship itself. Through cultivating gratitude, we embark on a journey of nurturing trust and strengthening our relationships. Regularly expressing gratitude creates an environment where both partners feel valued, acknowledged, and supported. Let us embrace this gratitude practice, harnessing its transformative power to foster love, connection, and trust in our relationships. So now that we've gone over these four trust-building exercises, I wanted to lead you through a real-life example of how you could apply them into your own life. So let's dive into how do we nurture trust, which is an essential cornerstone of successful relationships requiring intentional effort and unwavering commitment. By engaging in trust-building exercises rooted in active listening, empathy, vulnerability, and gratitude, we can strengthen our relationships and create a resilient foundation of trust. While the journey may present challenges, its rewards are profound and deeply fulfilling. Let's envision the journey of Sarah and John, two individuals grappling with a strained relationship overshadowed by a lack of trust. Their communication was marred by frequent disagreements and ineffective collaboration. Determined to mend their bond, they embarked on a transformative path by incorporating the trust-building exercises that we have explored. The first step was acknowledging the power of vulnerability. Sarah and John mustered the courage to open up, sharing their personal struggles and fears. Drawing inspiration from the social penetration theory, they recognized that gradually unveiling their true selves would foster trust and deepen their connection. To amplify their understanding, Sarah and John actively practiced empathetic listening. Guided by this empathetic listening in non-verbal communication principles, they created a space free from distractions where genuine understanding and shared emotions thrived. They demonstrated their commitment to active listening and validated each other's feelings through attentive eye contact with nonverbal cues. As a result, their communication flourished, misunderstandings diminished, and a foundation of trust began to take root. Further strengthening their trust, Sarah and John collaborated on a project, united in the pursuit of a shared goal. Exercise allowed them to witness firsthand each other's reliable ability, consistency, and skills. Drawing from the principles of the social support theory, they found support and encouragement in their joint endeavors, cementing their growing trust in each other's abilities. Gratitude became an integral part of their daily interactions. They made it a habit to express genuine appreciation for each other's contributions and efforts, fostering a positive emotional climate deeply rooted in positive psychology and emotional intelligence. This gratitude acted as a catalyst, deepening their connection and fortifying their bond. The commitment to these trust-building exercises resulted in a remarkable transformation in Sarah and John's relationship. They communicated more effectively, collaborated seamlessly, and placed unwavering trust in one another. They experienced greater relationship satisfaction, feelings of close closeness, and a profound sense of connection. So now that we've gone over John and Sarah's story, I'd like to end on how you can embrace this journey of cultivating trust into flourishing relationships. In the tapestry of our lives, trust weaves the threads that bind us together, creating a vibrant mosaic of flourishing relationships. Trust is not merely an abstract concept, but a living, breathing force that requires nurturing and commitment. By embracing the journey of cultivating trust, we embark on a transformative path where vulnerability becomes our armor, empathy our compass, and collaboration our guiding light. In conclusion, as we embrace cultivating trust for flourishing relationships, let us remember that trust is not merely an outcome, but an intentional and ongoing process. By nurturing trust, we unlock the power of genuine connection, open communication, and profound understanding. I hope you all enjoyed the show, and I wanted to thank everyone who wrote in this week, and of course, everybody who listened. Thank you so much. You're about to hear a preview of the Passion Struck podcast I did with University of California Berkeley professor Christina Maslach about her book, the Burnout Challenge, where she shares invaluable insights into tackling burnout, improving workplace civility, and fostering engagement. Don't miss this enlightening conversation that could transform your perspective on work as well as 
your well-being. We want to feel like we belong to the unit, the team. We want to feel that we're psychologically safe, that we can raise a criticism. If we see something going wrong, we're not going to get put down, that it's okay to ask for advice or help, and feeling that we're being treated fairly and that we're doing something that I'm feeling good about. And so that's where these matches that I'm talking about is really getting at what makes people tick, what makes them thrive, what makes them grow, develop, and do well in life. And those needs are true in the rest of our life, not just in the workplace. Remember that we rise by lifting others. So share the show with those that you love. And if you found today's episode useful with someone you know who's dealing with trust issues, then definitely share this episode with them. The greatest compliment that you can give us is to share this show with those that you love and care about. In the meantime, do your best to apply what you hear on the show so that you can live what you listen. And until next time, go out there and become passion struck.